Greetings! Working on 13.2.10 Configuring a radio solution We're going to start the lab and thirteen two ten lab configure a radio solution and we're gonna go through the steps I'm glad my audio came back I had a wrong setting on my uh, OBS software for recording so I couldn't record my previous videos with audio so here we go the scenario Due to the success of your remote access solution, you now have several remote access servers on your network. To centralize the administrator of network policies, you need to configure the Corp NPS server as radio server. In this lab, your task is to add necessary server role and role services to allow Corp NPS to be the radio server. This server will not respond to remote access client requests. Do not add any unnecessary role services. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started right here. So we have the server manager. From the server manager, we're going to go to tools and file server resource manager. Uh, we need to add the roles first. So we're going to go to add the roles and features. And here we're going to select the role base feature for installation. This is the one we want to select, CorpNet, and we need to add the um, uh, remote access into this one, remote access. Add features for remote access, and then uh, ready server. So then we're going to select a network policy Network Policy and Access Services. Okay, we click Next. We click Next. Network Policy Server, Remote Access. We're going to select Routing as well for the role services and we are done with this one. We click install. And close. So, Identify the following servers in the NP Redis clients. 
Identify the following servers. MPS is Redis clients. So we're going to go to tools, routing, and remote access. We're going to select um, uh, routing and remote access in Now we need to go to the policies first. Network policy server. And here we're gonna select the radius radius clients. We're gonna select a new client and we're gonna create the first client right here. The client core VPN1 and the address IP is 192.168.020. We can verify it. Result and is verified. Uh, at this point, we click OK and then we can add another one. Um, we need to do the uh, let me see the I forgot to put the secret on that one. So let me go to the properties. And the secret is this one. Confirm secret. We click OK. Then we get a new one and we get the branch VPN1. Friendly name. The IP address. We get the IP address back. And we also give it the share key. And we have the two server friendly names. And we need to do the And then the next step is to configure a network policy to allow members of the sales team to connect using the following settings. So we go to the policies, network policies, we select a new. The policy name is going to be sales. The Type to remote access server and click next. Set the add membership in the sales group. So we're going to select add membership in the sales user group. So we're going to select the user group. Uh, And we go to next. We should grant access. Connect the user must belong to one of the groups, and we want to add it. We want to add the group, and we select cells. We check for the name, and it's highlighted and identify. Click OK. Next. And then we configure the authentication method to grant access to the sales group conditions. And then grant access if the condition is met. And 
set in the Active Directory user account. For authentication, accept only a smart card. And a smart card. For authentication, a smart card or other certificate. Be sure to disallow other authentication methods. So we need to disallow all these authentication methods. Click Next. Um, no settings here. And and finish. So we have our cells. And the next step is we need to configure the routing and remote access to the branch copying VPN using the following settings. Authentication provider reviews authentication. So configure the branch VPN1 and Copy VPN one to use core VPN one to use radius. So we're gonna go and do the. Uh, let's go to the sites and take a look at the map. And here we have both the core VPN one and the branch VPN one. Right. So configure the routing and remote access on branch VPN one. So we're gonna select this one, and we are in the branch VPN one on our desktop. Uh, we need to do both. Use radius authentication accounting using the following settings: authentication provider. We're gonna select. Um, routing and remote access and on the branch we're going to select uh, properties okay in the security tab we're going to select the authentication we want to provide and the one we want is a radius authentication and we can click configure add and the server name is um, corp nps and for the secret we're gonna select this one right here we're gonna click change paste the secret click ok and click ok and then we can click OK. Uh, for the Windows accounting, we need to also do radius accounting. Radius accounting, we do the configuration. We add the server, which is Corp NPS. And we change the secret key to this one. Repeat the same key, we click OK, and OK, then we do the radius accounting as well. We do the configuration, and we do, oh, we just did it. I'm sorry, radius accounting, authentication accounting. Now we can click apply. Now, uh, we need to go to the sites, and then we knew we did the branch VPN1. Now we're going to do the corp, uh, the corp VPN1, which is right here. And we repeat the steps. Configure the routing and remote access. Routing and remote access. And we right click on this one, we do properties, and then we go into the security tab, and we do the radius authentication for 
configuration and we add it as corp mvp and we give the secret key make sure you get all thing and we put it on both places click ok and ok and then we do the accounting for radius the accounting provider we click in configuration and we add the server name and then we change the secret key we click OK now we have both apply OK and we got it and our next step, accept the default settings. So that's pretty much it for this lab. Um, so let's see how we get in our grading. And we get a 100% score. Configure the VPN, the branch VPN. That was for the radius client. We did the cells network policy. This was the second step. And then we configure the core VPN one and then the branch VPN one. So everything successful. Hope you enjoy the lab. You may repeat the video, pause it for your own speed and pace.